Life inside of a 90s sitcom has been quite the learning curve. My job? A video rental store. My hair? Ridiculous. My closet? Exclusively 90s. She looked like my mom. And may she rest in peace, but that woman was not known for her fashion. It's weird. Wasn't expecting company today. Hey, pasta, sisterino. I need a place to crash. My place is getting fumigated. Moving in? Not on my watch. Something wrong with your watch? Probably dead. Should have used Energizer. So you take me to my favorite fancy restaurant, the Hot Dog Hut. You let me eat five foot long chili cheese dogs. Is it my birthday? No, I'm just trying to soften the blow of what you're about to learn. You don't know your birthday? Well, I know it comes once a year, and I'm pretty sure it's in the summer. Wait, what blow are you trying to soften? This one. Mark, my favorite bro-in-law. Jimmy's here for a week. Our home is in chaos. Those five chili dogs were not in good faith. The chili dogs were in good faith. The chili dogs were the good news. He's the bad news. Those were dogs of betrayal. If you need me, I'll be in our room thinking about how I can't trust you or hot dogs ever again. Jimmy. Why'd you bring so much stuff? What? It's not that much stuff. <laughs> there is a wave ski in my living room. Well, where else was I supposed to put it? Oh, I don't know. Maybe the water? <laughs> I gotta go to work. Um, can you find another place to put this thing? Immediately, capiche? Fine. Let's not let things get out of hand. Ah, uh, this is the unwanted house guest episode. I'll figure out a way to deal with this. Maybe time management? <laughs> Thanks for choosing Cliffhanger Video and make it a cliffhanger day. See you soon. Oh, hey there, girl. How's my best friend doing? Hey, Tanya. Oh, they added a best friend character. She wasn't in the first episode. You're having episodes? I think I have pills for that in my purse. I'm good. I'm just here to drop off these new release posters real quick. Sylvester Cage? He is all that in a bag of chips. <laughs> Right. Yeah, Jimmy just moved in, so I have a wave ski size problem to deal with, so I really need to get these up. As if Jimmy's staying with you? Why didn't you tell me? I just did. <laughs> Go take care of that stud muffin. I'll hang all these for you. Thanks, Tanya. <laughs> Feel that power, Zack Attack? I never felt more alive! Oh. Waveski, still in my living room. Just a quick tune up, and she's gone. You'll hardly even know that I'm here. The whole neighborhood knows you're here. 
Come on. We're gonna find a place for you that's less living roomy. Grab your stuff. Let's migrate. <laughs> no, 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 no. I do not do yoga. <laughs> You're staying in my room slash laboratory. I'm delighted too, bud. You know, we got more electricity than Edison and Tesla. Speaking of currents, I have a secret. Sometimes I'm still prone to pee in my sleep. Whoa. <laughs> Wowie. <laughs> I'll take the top bunk. You'll have to share off Ernie. Is Ernie your imaginary friend? No, Ernie is my real iguana. <laughs> I surrender. You can sleep here, but don't touch my oracle board. It's an origami board. Oracle. It's a conduit for me to communicate with spirits. Doesn't look like it's all scream singing in seances. You kept your energizer bunny. You leave him out of this, or bad things might happen to you. Stop pointing at me. Get out. Mark, I think I figured things out with Jimmy. Hey, don't be like that. Give me a kiss. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but that fifth chili dog was a bad idea. Mark? Well, if you're here, then who's... Oh! No! 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 No to this, and oh no, there's that fifth chili dog. Ew, what are you doing here? Double ew. I couldn't stay with your kids, okay? It was a water park or a haunted house. It's just for a few days. It's not for a few days, all right? Why? It's a fumigation. How bad's your infestation? I'm not infested. I'm evicted. Apparently, they want you to pay rent every month. That's how being an adult works. You need to get your own place. How am I supposed to do that? With money, Jimmy. And where am I supposed to get that? A job. You know that I'm in between gigs. Then we'll sell your wave ski. <gasps> <laughs> Wave ski? Gee, that's like selling a piece of my cool and my cool not for sale. I don't have a thing for that yet, but I'll think of one. Don't do another catchphrase. You are 42 years old. You need to be responsible, not cool. You're selling your wave ski. First of all, I'm 41 and a half. And that's harsh. You'll be okay. Go sleep on the couch. Fuck. Good night, Jimmy. <laughs> Energizer introduces the world's first on-battery tester. Just press the dots to make sure your battery will keep going and going. And with a battery like this, you don't even need a big-time celebrity. So infuriating. You can't be a man-child your whole life. Do I detect my neighbor with a whole swarm of bees in her bonnet? Oh yeah, this is a recast. I guess the other Nelson didn't test well. Speaking of tests, is your brother testing your patience? Did I hear the sounds of sibling rivalry? More like sibling responsibility, as in he has none. And have you always been the responsible one? Yeah, ever since we were kids. I mean... I'm supposed to be learning about controlling my time, but instead I'm spending it solving his problems. Mm, interesting. You know, Einstein once said, time is an illusion. What do you mean? Well, if it is time control you're worried about and time is an illusion, all that is left is... Control. 
My lesson is letting go of controlling everything. Maybe the thing you envy most about dearest Jimmy is his fly-by-the-seat-of-his-pants cavalier attitude that makes him who he is. You can't control every situation, and obsessing about it is... A waste of time. You're right. That is what I love about my brother. Nelson, you're a genius. Guess I don't have to water the plants. Hey, Jimmy. I'm sorry I yelled last night. I know you'll figure things out on your own. You don't have to sell your wave ski. It's too late, dear sister. The wave ski's already gone. What, really? Wow. I don't know what to say. I'm really proud of you. Yeah, feels kind of good to be responsible. Yeah, I'm sure it wasn't easy to sell, but now you'll have money for rent. I didn't sell it. I traded it for a van. Full size, pretty sweet. And I don't have to pay rent because I am gonna live in it. Where are you gonna drive this van? Nowhere, actually, because it doesn't run. You traded your wave ski for a van that doesn't run? Full size van that doesn't run. Look, you set out of the house and technically, the driveway is out of the house. Got you there, hon. You still in the bathroom? Look, I'll fix up the engine, I'll be around to help with the kids, plus, let's be honest, ladies love a man with a van. What self-respecting woman gives a 42-year-old man that lives in a van the time of day? Tanya's here. Well, hello there, Jimmy. Didn't know you'd be here today. I guess having Jimmy around really isn't all that bad. He really is one of a kind. And I think the most powerful thing I learned is to empower people to be their best selves. You can't spend all your energy trying to control other people and how they spend their time. All you can do is control how you spend yours. Speaking about spending time, thank you for spending it with me. And if you've had fun, click to watch the next video and like and subscribe. Jimmy, why does it smell on the couch? <laughs>